range and we saw Croppen and the practice range. Let's see them here on the field of play in Salt Lake City. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field. Shooting for the gold medal on target number two, representing Germany, please welcome Michelle Kropen. You've seen her before, and she's back again, representing India. Previously, cadet world champion. Kropen, you shoot first, you shoot second. So Roy Cortez announcing Range the clear. Michelle Kropen Begin the match. of Germany on target two will shoot first. Germany is 22 years old and ranked number 34 in the world and came through qualification ranked 19th. And remember, the winner of this match books their spot in the World Cup final in Samsung, Turkey later on this year. It's time for gold. Great start from the German. Second appearance here on the finals range. She's already experienced it here in this session and she shoots a 10 to get her off the mark. Kroppen, it looks like she's got a 10 there right on the line. High standard being set so far here in the gold medal match. Nine means they're level on score. Kumari shot a career best of 6.86 compared to Kroppen 6.55. Another nine. A nine to draw level. A ten will give Kumari two set points. And it is a ten. The Indian, world number 11, takes an early lead in set one. It's easy to see why these two are in the gold medal match. Well, all of those arrows were very, very good indeed. And here we get a look at uh, comparison. Well, we're straight in on the nine ring. We don't need to go further out. No, I mean, everything either hit the 10 or was just right outside the 10. These, these girls definitely came to play and came to fight it out for gold. No issue with the wind here. It has died down from yesterday, but funnily enough, it's just started to bluster a little bit here. Not strong, only three to uh, three and a half meters per second. Uh, but it has just picked up a tiny bit. Kroppen, though, shot very well. Hopefully she can keep calm. If she carries on shooting like that, surely she can steal a set here. It's, when you're putting arrows that close to the middle, sooner or later you're going to get some points out of it. So set two of the recurve women's individual gold medal match. Michelle Kroppen of Germany to shoot first. Nine still in the yellow. Phenomenal. Good grouping. Your focus there from Kamari. Bit 
bit of a twitch. But she gets a 10. A long hold, but she managed to, she managed to hang on to it and finish it out okay. And a nice smile to follow up, but the door open again for Deepika Kumari of India. And she gets the nine that uh, draws the scores at 28 apiece. And Kumari gets one of the two set points. And Kruppen is off the mark with one herself. But uh, the gap stays the same, and Kumari edges Seven, closer nine, to the uh, six-point magic target thereafter. That is. That is. When Seven, you're leading like nine, that, you nine. just want it to get to six as fast as it can. Great shooting, though. Very, very clean. Very, very accurate. Michelle Kroppen shoot shooting very well. And you just see that little twitch at the end, but somehow manages to keep it in the 10 and the wry smile at the end tells her a story itself she knows she got away with a little bit of a mistake there but that's the that's the training overtaking them at this point sometimes your mind makes a mistake but your body makes makes you still shoot it in the middle because that's what you've practiced for for so many years yeah a bit of muscle memory so Kroppen still trailing shoots first Just drifting out into the eight. She is fallible, Topeka Kumari. It's the first time we've seen anything less than a perfect shot. solid there uh, from Kruppen in this third set and Vic the winds just picked up a tiny bit both of those arrows are a little bit high right possibly it's affecting her I'm not for sure she's definitely she's either doing something different in her form and technique or it's the wind We're all in the nines A 10 required for Kamari to draw level. And she scores an 8. Uh, that will go to the measure. It's uh, fairly uh, irrelevant, though, because it could only be marked up to a 9, which will give her 26 points, and she'd still be behind Kamari. So after the solid, consistent shooting that Kroppen has maintained throughout, in a way, she lost uh, the points. Not because she was shooting badly, but because there was one or two extra points for Kamari. But here she's managed to draw level, maintaining the consistency, and Kamari's consistency has dripped. Nine, yeah, eight, when, when you're shooting nine, like that, you just nine, don't want to make those eight. mistakes. You want, to, you want to stay close and have the good ends come when they come. Yeah, and that nine, consistency nine. from Kroppen, well, we'll see it right here. These are all of her arrows, and they've all stayed in the nines. Yeah, that was what I was saying earlier. If you can keep your arrows in the yellow, you'll get some tens, throw some tens in the mix. You obviously want to get tens, but if you can avoid those big mistakes, those sevens, those sixes, those eights, those are oftentimes what makes the difference and costs the match. Well, you're absolutely right here in this case. Dropping a couple of tens, the rest are nines, and she's drawn level, and you have to say the momentum is with her. The momentum can play a big factor in these things. It can shift really quickly, and sometimes it can instill doubt in your opponent or yourself. You are all level at the start of the fourth set, and Kroppen shows that she's fallible with a seven. Topeka Kamari is back with the tens. That looked to be a 10 to me. <laughs> Grouping very solid here from uh, Kamari. And that's a nine. And 
that one's crept into the nines, but uh, 29 plays, 26 fourth set for Kamari and five set points to three and she's snuck ahead now Whew. can't really call this one can we because one starts shooting uh, uh, a little bit outside the yellow and then the other one starts shooting outside the yellow they're kind of taking turns in having the jitters they are and if you take these people's average score over 72 or 144 arrows and you crunch that down to the uh, to the few arrows, the three, possibly four, four or five if we go to a shoot-off, but you crunch that down to three arrows, the advantage and disadvantage between these two are so minute, there's just almost no difference between it. Well, Dapika Kumari has taken the advantage here. It's going to come down to who has the mental toughness to finish those arrows out and shoot them the same. Kamari is trying to do just the same thing she did the last match and the, or the last end the first in the first set as well. We'll crop him to shoot first in the fifth set here. A place in the Samsung up for grabs and the World Cup final a little bit later on in the year. Nine there for Kamari. Pressure on Kroppen here. She shoots a nine. Another nine there. Huge pressure on Kroppen here. She let that one go pretty quickly. She was excited. She did get that one through the clicker very fast. 26 out of a possible 30 here. Kamari could get 28. She gets a 27 and she gets the two set points again in the fifth set and she's taken the gold here in Salt Lake City in the third stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup and with that books her place in Samsung and the World Cup Finals. Nine, nine, nine. Well, what a great match. I mean, I don't really know where to start with the analysis, but it seemed that uh, one dropped the ball for one set, then the other one dropped the ball for the second set. I mean, it was all over the place. They had some amazing ends and they had some windows of opportunity for the other archer there. It definitely, this was a match that would keep you on your toes. And uh, as the archers in there, it's just as exciting for them. But you notice when they made the mistakes, they managed to bounce back from them quickly. That's a sign of a champion archer. Uh, Topeka Kamari clearly delighted. She knows that she will be at the World Cup final later on this year. And she'll be standing on top of the podium in just a few minutes' time. Looking down that range, you can see how beautifully calm it is. The flag's on the left-hand side. Well, the only one waving is, of course... Uh, the Stars and Stripes as uh, we look down at the target end as we're replacing the targets for the next match here. This brilliant archery facility at the Eastern Foundations Archery Center, the capital city of Utah, Salt Lake City. And let's take a look back over that brilliant gold medal match. Uh, Dapika Kumari got the gold and her chance of shooting at the World Cup final in Samsung. Michelle Kroppen, well, she didn't shoot badly apart from in one set. In any other match against any other athlete, you would have fancied Kroppen with the scores she got. But Kamari was just a little bit better there. The hazy sunshine looking up into the mountains and uh, coming up very shortly we start the men's individual medal run and it's the recurve bronze with Ryan Tyak of the USA going up against Thomas Shiro of France and that should be very exciting but we've got a medal ceremony coming up very soon if you're enjoying the live coverage here and you miss it in between do follow us on uh, social media Facebook YouTube Twitter and Instagram where you can follow and pick up and watch lots of behind the scenes uh, action featuring all of the world's top archers
So we're looking down over this beautiful range here. And if you're just joining us, I'm Karen Bashir, and I have the pleasure of the legend of archery here in the USA, the Olympic silver medalist from Sydney 2000, uh, Vic Wonderly. Uh, but uh, before we come back to Vic's expert opinion, let's Ladies have the medals for the, the Recurve women. Women's Individual Tournament. Medals will be presented by World Archery Executive Board Member, Mr. Greg Easton. The checks and gifts will be presented by Easton Foundation Board Member, Ms. Danielle Timmerman. Bronze medal winner, representing Chinese Taipei, Tan Yating. Silver medal representing Germany, Michelle Kropen. National Anthem of India. Congratulate our athletes. And you don't want to leave your seat because we've got another great Hoyt and Easton giveaway for you coming up next. Yating of Chinese Taipei gets the bronze. Michelle Kroppen gets 
the silver medal, the German there being pipped at the post by India's Deepika Kumari, who claims her place at the World Cup finals in Samsung. And here are the World Cup rankings. And it's Chang here, Jin of Korea, sitting at the top. She won in Shanghai, so she's qualified.